Um, in this video, we're going to look where to find where a circle crosses the x and the y axis. Um, here's the y axis. Here's the x axis. The first one I look at is a circle with center 0, 0. So here's one. Um, x squared plus y squared equals 36. So I want to find out where the circle crosses the x axis, for example. So I want to find out where it crosses the x axis. I just let. y equals 0 and solve for x. So we'll let y equals 0, x squared plus y squared equals 36, x squared plus 0 squared equals 36, x squared equals 36, so x equals square root of 36, so x equals plus or minus 6, because the square root of 36 um, could be six, or it also could be minus six. When you think about it, think about it here. Yeah, I'll go back to this bit. If x squared is thirty-six, well then x could be six, but x could also be minus six, right? And that would make sense because x is going to be six, and it's going to be minus six in this instance. So x equals six, and x equals minus six. Why is that? Well, because it's going to cross it in two places. Likewise, if I want to find this point and this point, I'll just let x equal 0 and solve for y. All right. um, in this example, then, we have a circle that's not center 0, 0. Um, it's x minus 2 squared plus y minus 3 squared equals 16. Again, I want to find out where it crosses the x axis. So I want to find out what these points are. Let y equal 0. So it's x minus 2 squared plus 0 minus 3 squared equals 16. If we square out this, we will get x squared minus 4x plus 4. And if we square this, we will get minus 3 squared, which is plus 9, and that equals 16. This will give us x squared minus 4x, and then we have 4 plus 9 is 13, so minus 3 equals 0. And I'm not going to do it, but you can use your minus b formula to um, find out two values for x, and those two values for x will be these two points. Likewise, I want to find out what this point is. And this point is, I will let x equal 0 and I'll solve for y. Okay, so I'll end up getting a quadratic like that and I'll solve using factorization or guide number or the minus b formula. Okay, thank you.